we're giving our patients a, a really good shot at, at, at having a long survival after their transplant and go back uh, to a normal life. A normal life is the goal post-transplant for Dr. Marvin Constam, now the head of the Cardiovascular Center at Tufts. He says the hospital's one-year survival rate for heart transplant recipients is in the range of 97 percent. Albert Plummer lived 11 years after his heart transplant. He was the first person to undergo the procedure at Tufts. The devoted family man from Bath, Maine, made headlines in his hometown when he was released. He lived to see his daughter get married, the births of two grandchildren, and spent another decade with his wife, Diane, before he passed away in 1996. That kind of full life is the hope for all recipients who receive this gift of life. The Tufts team has performed 474 heart transplants since the year 2000 and is top 10 in the nation for patient outcomes. What is the next frontier when it comes to heart transplantation? So we don't really know. Early on, uh, if you had asked me, uh, I would have said, heart transplants are going to last maybe another five or ten years and when then we're going to have a mechanical solution to it and we got our mechanical solutions and guess what none of them worked as well as the native heart constam says there is still a lot of interest in this option and the hospital is involved in some of this Researchers like Dr. Naveen Kapoor are running preclinical work with cardiac devices like the Impella heart pump, looking for ways to improve those patient outcomes. Another area of interest, stem cells. None of them have really panned out. The clinical trials got a little bit ahead of the science and sort of now we, we have to go back to the science and say, no, why, why isn't this working the way we w wanted it to work? Gene therapy is another option, though Dr. Constam says it does present challenges. And there are also new drug regimens showing success. A lot has happened in the last couple of years in terms of newer drugs that are getting better and better survival for our patients so they won't need a heart transplant. But that comes as the number of people needing them also increases. The population of heart failure patients is markedly on the rise, which is related to the aging of our population. I don't think that heart transplantation is going to be put out of business anytime soon. I hope I can live to see the day that it happens, okay? Uh, but, but certainly, uh, it's not the only thing going on in the field of heart failure. So much promise yeah. when you consider all those potential positive outcomes for people yes. and new technology that's coming along. Yes, and it really does take a village. There are so many people that are involved in this, and that's something they both said to me. Melissa Parenti, her mm -hmm. dad, it takes a village. It does take a village. We saw a lot of villages tonight that were really yeah. just incredible. Thank you, Emily, yes, for being here and pleasure. joining us on Chronicle you. tonight. That is Chronicle for this evening. For my colleague, Emily Reamer, I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night.